Okay, so the title of this video, I believe I'm going to name it something sort of like What Happened to Debo Samuel? And you might be wondering, uh, you know, that's a bit of a pr provocative title, perhaps. What are you talking about, What Happened to Debo Samuel? Well, I think it's a fair thing to ask. Back in 2021, you look at the numbers, he had 1,400 receiving yards along with, uh, you know, 365 rushing yards. The guy also had six touchdowns that season and, you know, had a way career high uh, yards per catch of 18.2 and a career high in uh, rushes per, per carry, but kind of not really because, uh, you know, his first year he had more, but that was weird because he was only like jet sweeps and stuff. I don't know, weird situation there, but as a whole, definitely yardage wise had his best season but the past two years it's fallen off uh again part of that has been staying on the field for sure however if you look at his snap count like it's it's a little bit less it is but like he had only you know 123 uh more snaps in 2021 than in 2023 so it's not that much of a difference so what's going on I wanted to make a you know I really I was just kind of curious I wanted to watch some film and talk about well is he a worse player than he once was, or is he just as good and there's maybe more mouths to feed now with Christian McCaffrey there? Well, let's get into it. And I, you know, one thing I want to talk about actually is the Super Bowl. So like starting off uh, with this play, for example, I think it's worth mentioning, you know, the Super Bowl stats, it's weird because Kittle had kind of the more jaw dropping low numbers. So he was the one who got all the blame, but Debo Samuel ended the day with just three catches on 11 targets. He was targeted 11 times, only caught the ball three times. That's not a good ratio whatsoever. This is one of the targets. It's a third down and 14, and they're trying to isolate Debo in a one-on-one -on -one matchup down the field. You're going to see that when Purdy takes the snap, you know, the play concept works. Shanahan does a good job, gets Samuel one-on-one -on -one down the field, and there isn't a ton of separation, but Purdy's kind of saying, hey, Third and 14, this is worth the risk with a one-on-one -on -one matchup down the field. And again, just to be clear, if you're someone who uh, is already annoyed that I'm even making this video, a 49ers fan maybe who's saying, what, you know, you're an idiot, uh, just hear me out. Uh, I don't think this video is going to go exactly where you think it's going to go. But you see right here on this one, Samuel isn't able to make the play. I mean, that's that's Trent McDuffie. That's, a you know, one of the best slot corners in the league. But Debo Samuel is supposed to be one of the best receivers in the league, right? So if he's not you know, doing that, if he's not able to, you know, he should be able to get some wins against Trent McDuffie, and he really didn't a lot during the Super Bowl. Like, even stuff like this, where you see the, the route he's running, the slant route, going to go more over the middle. Like, okay, this is not the most, uh, you know, uh, not most creative route, it's, but still, watch what happens. On this one, Samuel is going to, you know, again, get open. Like, it's working right here. Purdy's going to make the throw, and, and, and this is admittedly not a perfect throw. However, Samuel is not going to be able to make the grab. And I think most 49ers fans would at least acknowledge that, like, yeah, usually we're expecting Debo to make this catch. And again, this is an unfair game to use to talk about uh, if, is Debo Samuel still good? Because this is probably his worst game of the season. But but still, like, there were you know plays like this. Like, there were plays where he was just getting covered. Like, that's just, that was happening throughout the Super Bowl. Maybe it's just Trent McDuffie's awesome. Like, that's a part of it. But you know, I, I think that's fair to say. And, and I think there's other things that are fair to say. Like going over to his running ability, uh, there were just some plays where like, I don't think it was his fault, but like they just weren't working. Like this play, Debo Samuel is the halfback. Watch as when Purdy flips it back to him right here, like Samuel's doing what he can, but like there's guys right in his face. Samuel is going to get tackled and that is the end of that play. And I think part of like what happened to Debo Samuel, I think part of it is he was getting so much attention for being the guy who was not just a receiver, but a halfback. And now they have Christian McCaffrey, so they don't really need Samuel to be the halfback anymore. I think that's a part of it, uh, where even some of it, like Samuel's runs or Samuel's pass attempts would come from, you know, being a halfback, but then running a route. Uh, now McCaffrey's getting those, right? So, so that's probably part of it, uh, which is simple enough. But I got to say, when I watched the film, like what happened to Debo Samuel, I, I I really think that like when I watch his film, like he looks just as good, like stuff like that. Like he's still like so good in this uh, zone coverage stuff. Like I, I feel like he is a really good player still. I don't think he's like lost it uh, after the injuries or anything like that. This play, for example, it's going to be a route over the middle against zone. You see that when it begins, I mean, you see Samuel first not giving away what he's doing, doing a good job of this route running stuff, but then watch how well he cuts. This is a very smooth cut, gets over the middle, takes the hit, but is able to hold on and pick up a first down right there. Like, he's still making these really good plays, even in, you know, what you could argue is one of his worst games of the season in that Super Bowl. So, 
I think Samuel's a good, I definitely think he's a good player. I definitely think he's a good player. I do think you can make the argument, though, that he might not be the elite wide receiver slash halfback combo that we at one point thought he was. I mean, again, even looking at the yardage totals, uh, what you can do, I mean, you know, again, yardage isn't the best uh, measure of a player. It certainly isn't. A lot of this comes down to scheme and stuff like that. But you do look at this and you say, okay, there's one outlier year here, really. And it's not last year. It's 2021, the year that he had 1,400 yards. Is it possible that he was, you know, maybe had a few... Uh, I don't know, uh, better games that year, and maybe it was just that that was more the outlier. And the reality is he's more of an, you know, nine nine hundred, a thousand yard guy who will also, you know, do a lot of the kind of tough stuff, underrated stuff that makes him more valuable than just an a thousand yard guy. Yeah, probably. So what's the verdict here? How do we feel about Debo Samuel? Is this just a hot take uh, to get clicks during the offseason? Listen, uh, I think if you've watched this channel for long enough, you know that I don't really give hot takes just for clicks. I usually do them because I'm stupid uh, is the main reason why I give them. Actually, again, for my channel, uh, hot takes tend to do the opposite. Every now and then, uh, a hot take video will do okay views, but usually my hot take or my hotter takes end up just getting a lot of dislikes, which kind of causes you, the YouTube algorithm to not recommend my uh, video as much. So I don't know, but uh, uh, you know, uh, either way, who cares about that stuff? Let's get back to Debo Samuel. Um, you know, I, I think he's very good. I, I don't uh, look at this and say, oh, wow, this guy sucks. I do think it's fair to say, hey, he kind of has only had one of those great years. I think that's a fair thing to bring up at this point. Um, I think kind of using most of Super Bowl footage was kind of just what I did for the video. But like, again, I'm not sitting here saying that he was getting covered up all season long and was never getting open. I, and I, I hope I showed that in the video that there were plenty of positives to take away from Debo Samuel's uh, season as well. I, and, you know, even the past two seasons as well. I don't look at him and say, oh, wow, he's, you know, he's washed up or anything like that, or he was just a complete fluke. Uh, but like, if you had to say gun to my head, Debo Samuel, is he going to end the season closer to, you know, 900 receiving yards next year or 1400 receiving yards next year? I think I'm going to lean towards 900. I think I would guess around 1000, uh, 1100 feels like kind of where I would expect him to be at. That feels fair. Um, and again, part of it might just simply be there's more mouths to feed. And, you know, again, the 49ers offense is awesome. So, like, if he has to be slightly, you know, less useful in a, a system that is now much better, I'm sure everyone's happy. You know, he has his contract, so he's happy and they're winning more. So, at the end of the day, who really cares? But, yeah, an interesting video to talk about, I think. So, want to make it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, always love hearing from, you know, let me know in the comments below what you think. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always... Thanks for watching.